Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Uh, welcome back to my time bench. Oh, it's very windy here in uh, Livingston, Montana. Uh, all I can do is uh, nothing but tying flies and shooting videos like this. So, um, fly I'm going to tie is uh, another brand new pattern of mine called uh, uh, Pheasant Puff. Basically, it imitates, you know, emerging uh, or straggling um, uh, mayfly, in this case, dark olive, you know, blue wing uh, olive imitation here. Um, uh, there are kind of two stories behind of uh, development. Uh, one is that, uh, you know, when I'm fishing uh, four babies, you know, four brewing olive, uh, my favorite place is nowhere bad, the Peel Spring Creek, which is only uh, 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 less than five minutes away uh, from my house. And then I cannot emphasize how, you know, uh, fishing, you know, how uh, uh, technical, you know, how technical, you know, fishing can be at, for the four babies at the pews, you know. So, uh, one cannot have enough, you know, babies' parents. And then, uh, at the same time, um, in the fall, I like to fish with the large soft tackles. Yeah, in the debuts of Madison, or, you know, Yellowstone River, you know, those big rivers. So I tie a uh, lot of, you know, large soft tackles, like my, uh, you know, uh, Coyote here, or version two, or even the version three with a greasy wing, you know, these are all, you know, tied with pheasant. So what I got uh, is all these, you know, trash, which is fine. But, <laughs> and, but the, the more I see them, uh, the, the more I like them, because all these uh, colors, natural done, you know. And then uh, no other materials is, you know, as you know, natural looking as this one. And then natural done, I mean, so uh, I use that, you know, these fibers on the here as a kind of sort of a wing, protruding wing, you know, or even uh, uh, imitating, uh, you know, uh, 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 mayfly down, you know, coming out from the nymphal shock, so to speak. So um, this doesn't mean this is a uh, uh, substitute of CDC. Uh, but uh, apparently this is uh, 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 much less expensive than buying a CDC, you know, it's just a byproducts trash of, uh, you know, uh, prime use, you know, of a pheasant. So, and then uh, I can, you know, actually puff up, so to speak, with, dry up with this, uh, you know, uh, 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 floatant anyway. So, uh, this proven to work, so I'd like to share with you here. And then uh, before I go on, the hook I'm using here is uh, Daiwiki 310, this is size 16. And then another, you know, brand in the same style is uh, TMC 101. Uh, but uh, there's a kind of difference, um, or even a bit confusion. Um, uh, size 16 of uh, Daiwiki 310 is just about size 18 of uh, TMC 101. And then also, so uh, size 18 of Daiwiki 310 is just about size 20 of uh, TMC 101. So it's totally up to you which brand you use, you know, and then uh, size, you know, it's totally up to uh, uh, your uh, intention and uh, place to fish. So, um, okay, let's get started. Okay, let camera focus on here as I advertise my blog. <laughs> okay, I think it's ready. Okay, the thread I'm using is dark, I'm sorry, olive down 8 all. I'd like to say this is a bit the larger side of uh, blue wing, you know. 
uh, typically it's called size you know uh, 20 22 or even smaller but uh, there are some uh, larger you know uh, individuals larger groups so for the undertail I use this uh, dark down zirong or ziyang darong and I literally count I'm not using the full bundle just uh, seven fibers probably five six seven here wrapping right here trim this just about a half of a hook shank so not so long then then I use this uh, flank feather mallard flank feather for uh, the you know uh, over tail I mean the main tail Again, just a several fibers here. Even tips, just about here. Slightly longer than the um, undertail. I wrap in excess as well for the uh, abdomen length here. The key of uh, designing uh, Spring Creek flies, as I said in the CD system video, is uh, sparse, 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 then sparse. I hope it doesn't happen to my hair anytime soon. But the uh, uh -huh. key for the abdomen, I use this uh, Taki Biot dyed uh, brewing olive. But the uh, key, let me tie here. However, uh, manufacturer said brewing olive uh, but uh, um, let me remind you some brewing comes with this a uh, bit uh, lighter uh, color like PMD and some comes with in uh, this uh, uh, sh shades of gray and same thing uh, happens with uh, you know PMD PMD is supposed to be most of them are this uh, you know light olive, but uh, some uh, definitely show you know uh, much uh, darker olive, and then uh, some come uh, with even a shade of gray like this. So uh, it's totally up to you know your observation, you know what's going on, what's what you are seeing at your water, you know where you are fishing. Okay, I'm wrapping this. Uh, Biot. Pick up and then cut it. Okay. Now it's a pheasant time. Okay, it is uh, supposed to be a trashy material. What I found is actually I use a little bit of large amount of them. I kind of start to peel off like this. Somehow I manage the uh, manage all of them. I okay, trim that. I'd like to use really kind of, really pretty much butt, you know, of this, uh, you know, closer to the stem because that's gonna really puff up the wing. Hold here, so I think I'm gonna, I must be tying in somewhere around here. I'm not my hands my hand is not shaky just I may need a new <laughs> new scissors here so anyway uh, trim just about 
no, this long. There you go. That will be much better. Okay. So the final step is for smaller size, say a size 22, you know, probably you don't need a dubbing, but uh, for this size you can use this uh, super fine dub. Yeah, I really like this angle and then the amount of this, uh, you know, puffy fibers. Okay. Fast wrap is slow because uh, which I did. <laughs> I don't wanna wrap it's, sorry it's a distance between <laughs> my fingers and that's uh, so making such a sloppy wrap here. Okay okay now I'm gonna extend Okay, and uh, whip finish. There you go. This is the uh, pheasant puff. Okay, let's treat with this oil then. See how it looks. This part should, you know, float, you know, well. And, uh, yeah, you can use gink as well. It's a CDC oil, but uh, it's still, you know, basically oil. So, how's that? So, uh, you can definitely, you know, modify this into a PMD, lighter color, like I said, or any other uh, uh, mayfly species. You know that you are fishing for that you find in your area and then uh, I hope you find this idea a bit useful for your tying bench and for your area and then uh, let me know how you fish so uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day